half in the bag. So we're watching all three Transformers films at the same time. Is that what's happening for real? That's, this is yeah. real life. Yeah. A peaceful race, Only that but intelligent. Are we? Is this three Optimus Prime voiceovers? Again, <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> so the first one's about the the energy cubes. What are they called? Oh, the All Spark. Yeah. Something's called the All Spark in one of these movies. And the second one's about the dark of the moon. That's the third one. That's the third one. The second one's something about the pyramids. Yes. So this one's already transitioned into an action scene, I think. Yeah. Okay, so this one's the second quickest. So each movie, everything's just gonna be stretched. <laughs> everything's gonna be longer. Theoretically. Well, when I first time I hit pause, it didn't unpause, so there's like a three or four second delay on this one. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make a huge difference. That'll make a huge difference, but All it's right, there. We're, we're into hum humanity yeah, now. Yeah, so we have opening uh, backstory, and then we have modern day people. Oh, we got text at the same time. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Which Transformer is that? I don't know. It's the one with all the moving parts. It's the one that you can't tell what it is. <laughs> the first one's attempting to establish characters. Look at that. Yeah. The first one still thinks it's a real movie. It's amazing seeing how restrained the first one is in comparison to the second one so far. If you want to make memorable characters, the design on the robots is just awful. Yeah. They all just look like a junkyard explosion. <laughs> Not today. Come on, let's go. All hands on deck. Frankie Mojo okay. out. Holy cow. Oh, look at that. Wow. Cut to end of opening action scene. To human story. To, to Shia LaBeouf story. At almost nearly the almost exact, the exact same. same moment. That's pretty incredible. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's impressive. It was, within, within a it was within a second. And we're just now getting to the title of the third There's one. There's the wacky teacher, there's the wacky mother. Yeah. They're both saying Shia LaBeouf is... It's like they took the same script and just replaced yeah. words. Well, this isn't too far off. Now we're getting to Shia LaBeouf. Oh, yeah. So... Yeah, that's pretty impressive, actually. All right within the same minute, yeah. we get to Shia LaBeouf. We get to our lead character. Was so Megan Fox in the new one then? No, no, she's in Ninja Turtles. Oh, okay. Is it the same girl from the third one that's in the fourth one, or is it a new I one? I have no idea. I don't know if anyone from the first three is in the new one. I bet Josh Dumal is, because what yeah. else is he doing? Other than Fergie? Oh, we got wacky little robots. At the same time. There's like parallels in like two of them. Three, all three have oh, a really. Yeah. They're jumping. It's the same, same robot. And it's jumping from one thing to the other. <laughs> Introduction of Bumblebee. Introduction of Bumblebee. Oh, yeah, look at that. Got racing. Yeah. I don't know what the next story beat is in any of these. Well, they're really uh, off with, with the, the Michael Bay dehumanizing, misogynistic woman on motorcycle slash car shots. <laughs> are, that that has yet to happen in this one. Right. It's happened in this one, and then they had the close up of her one. butt in that one. Yeah. yeah. So he's really off with those. <laughs> Your elaborate plans that keep me interested. Candy. Which one had the dog getting home? That was this one, right? Oh my god, there's the, ca the camera's shadow was just on them. Was it really? Yeah. Candy. So we're expanding. There's Josh Dumal. Yeah. There's Josh Dumal, right? Oh. There there's, is. Yay! <laughs> We've hit the, the Josh Dumal point. So, roughly 10 minute opening action sequence introduction of Shia LaBeouf and where he's at in life, introduction of Bumblebee. Back to military plot. Yeah. And or uh, Transformers oh, introduced. Yeah, and then sprinkle in military briefing scene somewhere. Oh yeah. This is our current problem. To give you the illusion that these movies have plots. Yeah. Hey look. Hey look. There's the art museum. 
I'm assuming that gets blowed up. No. No, I don't think so. What's that, Rich? That's Megatron. He's back. He's he's wearing a, like a, a parka. Yeah. Now he's a desert man. He needs to keep the sun off his head. <laughs> <laughs> That's absurd. <laughs> That's absurd. Oh. Oh, that's embarrassing. Yeah. Oh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> that's one of Michael Bay's films. Yeah. If you didn't guess, Rich. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> oh, here. He's about to get attacked by the girl, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Shia LaBeouf is trying to advance the plot, but an evil Transformer is preventing him from doing so. Yes. Mike and Fox showing up. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. The exact same time. I see more Francis McDormand than Transformers <laughs> in the three. I think, well, I think that was a response to a lot of the complaints that the first two movies got from teenage boys. They said, you know, those movies are fun, but they really need more of that woman from Fargo. Megan Fox and Sean LaBeouf both in, in peril. Yeah. Look at Tiny robot. Tiny robot. Tiny robot. Attacking Shia LaBeouf. Wow, these first two are kind of incredible. Yeah, roughly the same movie. <laughs> Megan the Fox saves Shia like LaBeouf from yeah, robot. At the exact same time. Wow. That's those, incredible. Those are perfectly synced up. Oh no. Their car was secretly a Megatron, Rich. <laughs> Did you see that? No. I think there's a secret transformer in the Smithsonian. It's the Wright Brothers playing Rich. It's the first transformer. Oh god. <laughs> Is that what's happening? <laughs> Did you not know that? <laughs> no, I'm making that up, but you didn't even know that I was. No, I didn't know. I wouldn't. I, I thought that's what was going to happen. Yeah. I thought you were being serious. This is seriously starting to affect my brain. Like, where I can't focus on anything anymore. Yeah. I, I'm, I feel like the actual audience for the Transformers movies. Now it's starting to get ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I really do. Yeah, it's it's getting bad. <laughs> I can't even tell where one robot begins and the other ends. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! That was insane. What was insane? Did they all quiet down? Yeah. They all got quiet at the yeah. exact same moment. It's like when you're in a noisy restaurant or a bar and that happens once in a while. A, a description of these movies as a noisy bar is, is accurate. <laughs> Except more robots. <laughs> How he survives this. Oh my god. Without getting injured in any way. Yeah. Who's that? 
Is that Optimus Prime? That's Optimus Prime. That is, I think. Is this Megatron? Yeah. He's helping? Oh, Megatron's soul went into a different robot. What? Yeah, I remember that happening. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my God! They even have blood now. <laughs> oh, this is where Optimus Prime just murders him. No, Optimus! <laughs> is this real life? <laughs> He was begging for, for help. <laughs> and Optimus Prime just shot him in the face. <laughs> no Optimus, no. <laughs> oh, we also helped. Uh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but the day will never come that we forsake this planet and its people. Do you Die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 